Okay, so the draw for Miami for the men's has finally been released, and we got some massive names playing. We've obviously got Alcaraz, who's the new world number one. He's trying to be the defending champion, trying to defend that world number one ranking as well. But let's go to the withdrawal list, because we have so many players that are out of this tournament. Okay, the long withdrawal list. You've got Sam with Bonzi. He's pulled out. Brooksby. Carino Bust is also pulled out. Chilich, recovering from surgery still. He's pulled out. Novak Djokovic, of course. The biggest news, not playing. Jack Draper, also the latest withdrawal. After pulling out last week in his match against Alcaraz. Goffin also not playing. Grigspor is also not playing. And he's been in really good form, so I'm not sure why he's out. Korda also pulled out, still recovering from his wrist injury at the Australian Open. Kranovic, Kwan, Nick Kyrgios, Mute, and of course Rafa Nadal, who we won't be seeing until the clay court season. So some huge names there, some Grand Slam champions, and some players that are in pretty good form as well, not playing at this tournament. But we still have plenty of players playing, so let's go to the top of the draw. Uh, all 32 seeds get a buy in the first round. Alcaraz, number one seed, into the second round. The defending champion, he'll play a qualifier or Bagnus in the second round. Then you've got Murray versus Lajevic. Winner plays Cressy, the 30th seed. Uh, then you've got Fakina, the 20th seed, getting a buy in the first round. He'll play either Otta or Nakashima in the second round. Then you've got Huzla taking Ramos Vinoles. Winner plays number 16 seed, Tommy Paul. Now, Paul versus Alcaraz, possible fourth round. Murray versus Alcaraz, possible third round. So some really interesting matchups there. Uh, Paul beat Alcaraz last year in America before the US Open. So very fun matchups potentially in this section. All right, next section of the draw, you got Fritz, the number nine seed. He'll take on either Nava, the wild card, or Isna in the second round. Isna Fritz, they played a couple weeks ago. Uh, could be an interesting match on a fast court. Uh, and obviously Isna's played well here before. Then you got Pala Varalis. Winner plays Shapovalov, the 24th seed. Shapovalov and Fritz, third round. Very fun. They've had some epic battles over the time. Then you got the 31 seed, Schwartzman. He'll take on either Wu or Edmund in the second round. Now, Wu's been in some form. So, Wu has a very good draw against Schwartzman and maybe Edmund. Uh, so, maybe keep an eye out for him. Uh, then you got Kashin taking on Fuchovic. Winner takes on the number seven seed, Runa, in the second round. So, Runa Fritz. That could be the fourth round if the seeds play out. And obviously, quarterfinal potentially between Runa and Alcaraz, or maybe Fritz and Alcaraz. But uh, very, very fun part of the draw, uh, that top section. Let's go to the second quarter now. So, the second quarter of the draw, we've got the defending finalists, Rude, number three seed. He'll take on either Ravashka or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Popperin taking on Ema. Winner plays Van der Zanschup, the number 25 seed. So Rude versus Van der Zanschup in the third round, potentially. Then you got RBA. He will take on either Rusevori or Krajanovic in the second round. Uh, Daniel, who's been in some good form, takes on Rindanish. Winner plays the number three, 13 seed, Zverev. Uh, Zverev's got a tricky draw if he plays Daniel, because you know Daniel has been good the last couple of weeks. He beat Kaspar Rude a few weeks ago in Acapulco. And RBA. I think RBA beat uh, Djokovic here uh, a few years ago. So uh, not an easy draw for Zverev, and, but I do want to see Rude versus Zverev in a fourth round. I think that'd be really interesting uh, right now because Rude's not getting good form and Zverev, of course, is on the comeback. Uh, next section of the draw, you've got the number 10 seed, Sinner. He'll take on either a qualifier or Jera in the second round. Good start for him. Uh, then you've got Fanini versus Lestian. Winner plays the 21st seed, Dimitrov. So Sinner and Dimitrov, third round. Uh, if the seeds play out. So nice, a nice start there for uh, for Sinner. Then you've got Kecmenovic, the 29th seed, taking on either Umber or Monfils. That's a fun match. Battle of the Frenchman. Battle of the, uh, I guess, the Jenner generations too because you've got the uh the the, the older Montfeast versus the young Umber. Uh, then you got Bubbly taking on Wolf. Winner plays the number six seed Rublev in the second round. So Rublev taking on Kedmenovich third round and then Rublev Sinner possible fourth round because this section takes on the Rude section so we could be getting Sinner versus Rude. Rublev versus Rude or maybe even Zverev versus Sinner or Zverev versus Rublev. So some really fun matches potentially in that section. Of course this section also takes on the uh, semi-finals where Alcaraz or Runa or Fritz could be there between you know, playing one of these guys as well. All right, bottom half of the draw now, the top section of the bottom half, we've got Hercatch, number eight seed. He'll take on either a qualifier or Bergs in the second round, the wild card. And then you've got Manorino versus uh, Song. Winner of that will play against Shelton, the 32nd seed. Shelton versus Hercatch in the third round. That's huge, especially because Shelton is playing in his co in his college backyard. Remember, he went to Florida State, and this is where we're playing in Florida. So expect him to get a lot of support. Then you've got the number 17 seed, Chorich. He'll take on either a qualifier or Kudla. Then we've got also Barrea taking on a qualifier. So a couple of qualities here. Winner plays Nori. Nori, Chorich in the third round. Interesting. And uh, possibly Nori or Chorich taking on Hercatch in the fourth round. Very interesting. Because remember, Hercatch is a, a player who won this two years ago. So that's always, that's very interesting. Uh, 
right, next section of the draw, you've got Diminor, the number 15 seed. He'll take on either Martinez or Hellas in the second round. Uh, then you've got Gallon taking on McDonald. Winner of that plays Berrettini, the number 19 seed. Berrettini has not been good. He just played a challenger last week and lost in the, uh, in the middle of that tournament. So a very uh, crucial week for Berrettini. But Berrettini, Dim uh, Diminor, third round. That could be a lot of fun. Then you've got uh, Nishioka, the number 28 seed. He'll take on either Molchan or a qualifier in the second round. Uh, then you've got Baena versus Morales. Winner takes on Medvedev of the fourth seed. Good start for Medi. He's going to play a clay quarter in the second round. Nishioka's, you know, not... not uh that tough, I guess, for someone like Medi on a, on a faster court. And then Berrettini, who's not in form, will maybe Demet uh, Diminor, who, again, is kind of like a Nishioka type. So I think Medvedev's got a nice draw. And, of course, this section takes on the other section uh, that we just spoke about. Herkac Medvedev, quarterfinal. Uh, Herkac, uh, sorry, uh, Medvedev Choric, possible quarterfinal if you want to go a little bit different. Or if you want to go with the hometown favorite, Shelton versus Medvedev, which would be absolute fire. That atmosphere would be absolutely crazy. And the bottom quarter of the draw, we've got Ojel Yassim, the number five seed. He'll take on either Kubler or Montero in the second round. Kubler's been in good form this year, so expect, uh, maybe, you know, if he plays FAA, expect a fight. Then you got a qualifier taking on Munair. Winner of that takes on Serendolo, last year's semifinals in the 25th seed. Then you got Dan Evans, 23rd seed. He'll take on either Team or Sinego, one of the best first rounds in the draw. Sinego's been good. Team on the comeback, very fun. Winner plays Evans. That is a good, fun section. Then you got two qualifiers going at it. Winner plays Tiafo, the 12th seed. So Big Foe has a nice start. Uh, and of course, Big Foe versus Evans third round. But I guess we're all thinking that, okay, well, FAA and Tiafo, who have been the better of this group, should make it to the fourth round and play each other for a quarterfinal spot. The last section, Hashinov, the 14th seed. He'll take on either a qualifier or Echeverry. He's been pretty good Echeverry lately uh, in that second round. Then you've got Correa versus Lehechka. Winner plays Musetti. Now, that's going to be interesting because lehechka has been very good, but unfortunately, last week, Lehechka lost in, a, in the Challenger event that everyone else was playing that lost in early in Indian Wells. So, uh, lehechka has got to get some form, but he does a nice draw. Bottom part now, you've got Baez, 27th seed. Takes on either Giron or a qualifier. Uh, then you've got Gasquet taking on a qualifier. Winner plays Sidzi Pass, the second seed. Gasquet, Sidzi Pass, second round. That is huge. How do we miss that? That is massive. Uh, then, of course, Baez versus Sidzi Pass, if you want the seeds. I think Giron might actually beat Baez. Uh, and then you've got uh, possibly Lehechka, Sidzi Pass, which we got at the Australian Open, uh, which was a little bit of fun. We had some fun. Lehechka's good fun to watch, especially against these big guys. Uh, and then, of course, this section of the draw takes on the FAA section. So, by the seeds. City Pass versus Felix Ojeli Asim. Uh, City Pass Tiafo. If you want to go with something a little bit different, um, or uh, and then also this section of the draw will take on the uh, the Hercatch Medvedev section. So semi final between Medvedev and City Pass. Uh, I guess we all that's the one that's the one that I want. Maybe not the one you want, but the one that I want to see. And there it is, the draw for Miami. It is being complete. We've got the women's draw already done. The men's draw is already out. Uh, go check out the women's draw if you haven't already. But uh, man, it's a pretty open draw, and I don't think anyone really has a bad draw off the top of my head. I mean, everyone's got a manageable draw, all the contenders. I mean, Alcrez has got some tough opponents. So I mean, I don't think Alcrez is going to have a cakewalk uh, and win this tournament and get the Sunshine Double without breaking a sweat. There are some tough players in his way. But let me know, who's going to win this tournament? Who do you think is going to win? Do you think it's going to be Alcrez back-to-back? Do you think Rude can get uh, get good again? Do you think Hercatch can maybe win another one? Is Medvedev going to get back on track after losing pretty badly the other day to uh, to FA, uh, to uh, to Alcaraz? I'm going to be honest, I have no idea. I, 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 I This is why open. I mean, Elk is the easy pick, right? He's in form, but I feel like it's not going to be him. I feel like it might be someone like a Sinner or a, a Hercatch or someone a little bit outside the box. Uh, maybe a Runa. Maybe it's a good chance for Runa to add to that Paris title he won last year, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one?